Howdy, this is Chuck with Simply Nuck, and this is the new Everglades fanless mini PC from Simply Nuck. And I'm excited to show you this because this is the, the newest small form factor fanless uh, product in a new offering. Inside, you'll find the unit. This is a fanless chassis, and it has, uh, it's approximately uh, five in inches uh, wide by about four inches deep uh, with the uh, captured antennas. In the box, you'll also find the user's guide and the Visa mounting plate, as well as a small power supply, because this is a very low wattage unit. And uh, there's some screws for mounting, and there's also a jumper in here for the BIOS clearing. Starting at the front, we have our power button, and that is a N for Nook, and it does illuminate when the power's on. And over here, we have our consumer IR receiver, so that you can use this with remote controls. <clears throat> Taking a look at the side, we have four USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit ports, and we have one USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit Type-C connector, that can also provide up to 10 watts of power. And then we have an SD card slot. The other side just has our ventilation. Now this is fanless, but it does need to vent some of the air from the, the hot air from the inside. And taking a look at the back and starting here on the left side, you can see our 19 volt power connector. We have our gigabit ethernet that is, has an optional PoE support. Uh, PoE is optional, so you have to order that module when you order your unit. We have a full-size display port, 1.2. We have a second gigabit ethernet port. We have an HDMI 2.0 uh, 4K. Both of these connectors support 4K at 60 Hertz. And we have a VGA connector uh, for supporting older monitors. And then we have a 3.5 millimeter HD audio jack for supporting headsets or audio out for like speaker, uh, stereo speakers. And then you can see our two captured antenna ports. And then the top uh, actually acts as a heat sink. So this is uh, decorative, but it's also functional. The bottom plate is held on with four feet screws. So these are rubber feet that have a screw captured in them. And you just take these four screws out and then the bottom plate, you just pull off fairly easily. And you can see that on the bottom plate, we have a place to mount a two and a half inch drive. Now this could be a two and a half inch hard drive or an SSD. The unit is fanless, so remember that when you use a spinning hard drive that they are not fanless and they generate a lot of heat. So if you use a spinning hard drive, make sure that you have adequate cooling for the system. There's also a cooling plate in here for the 2280 SSD. Uh, the thermal gap pad is in the package separately, um, but once you order it with the SSD, the gap pad would be installed. Now taking a look at the inside, you can see that we have our uh, that two and a half inch SATA drive cable set. There's a power cable and a data cable, and these are already mounted. And then we have our 2280 SSD mounting, and so it screws across here. And the cooling plate on the bottom would uh, touch that and cool the SSD. We have two DDR4 sockets. This does support four or eight gigabit. Uh, gigabytes of memory. And then over here we have this little four pin header and up here we have the second four pin header. The PoE module, the optional PoE module, straddles these two connectors and plugs in here. And when it plugs in then it takes the power from this uh, PoE connection on this port and the back is marked PoE so you know which one has the capability and it provides power into the system. And then you can see that the uh, 
the time of day clock battery is easy to uh, access. And then we have the wireless AC plus Bluetooth radio is soldered down on this unit. And then you can see the antennas run to the captured antennas on the back. Can you see why I was excited to show you the new Everglades? With its fanless design, dual gigabit ethernet, and PoE support, it fits in a multitude of locations, even up into plenums, mechanical closets, behind monitors and digital signage, or in areas where you may not have sufficient cooling for a normal uh, Celeron system. Head over to simplynook.com and custom configure your specific unit uh, today. Thank you. Who's a good computer? You're a good computer. Don't be afraid to show off your side connectors. Oh, and you're fanless and you've got PoE. Who's a good computer? You are.